Um, if you got your Bibles, open to 1 Kings, 1 Kings uh, 19. And the Lord, he just began to speak to me this morning. He goes, I'm not in the wind, I'm not in the earthquake, and I'm not in the fire. But I'm in a still small voice. For those of you who aren't familiar with the passage, let me just read this. The prophet Elijah, he's already had this tremendous encounter with uh, the false prophets of uh, Baal and Ashtoreth. And God has just come in a mighty way, you know, sending fire from heaven. And there's been a spiritual breakthrough for a nation that had gone wayward. So you need to, need to hear this, everybody. And then all of a sudden, Elijah gets discouraged. Have you ever been discouraged? You've been praying for a breakthrough in your family or maybe the church or maybe for our city nation and, and just time goes on and you've seen some things but some discouragement. And that's where Elijah was. And this is what the Lord said in verse 11. Then he said, go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by and a great and strong wind tore into the mountains and broke the rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake and after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice or literally like a very faint whispering voice is what happened and here's what I felt like the Lord said that we're in a season the church is in a season where we've been a bit discouraged maybe even downcast in some cases and we've been looking for the next great sign. And listen, we, we're a church. We believe in encounters with God. We believe that in His presence, just about anything can happen, right? So encounters are good. But here's the thing. We need to be seeking after Him. We don't need to go to a mountain. If you want to go up on the mountain and pray, that's great. I love to do that too. But God has already made the breakthrough. Jesus is with us. The Spirit is with us. We can lean in at any moment, at any day, at any time to hear that small voice. And I feel like what the Lord's saying for us individually is we need to be ready to hear the small voice of the Lord in this hour. And right after this, I don't have time to get into it today, but if you read through that passage, right after we begin to hear the small voice of the Lord, that whisper, all of a sudden, God begins to give strategy about the next season that he was to go into. And here's the thing. A lot of you are looking for strategy in this hour. I just want to encourage you, lean in. He wants to release his strategies in this hour. But here's for us corporately, the church in this city and the church certainly in our nation. I believe, and this is what the Lord was stirring in me this morning, I believe we're at one of these moments right now, church, where it looks like in the natural, uh, the church is a bit discouraged, maybe even a little downcast. But the Spirit of the Lord is about to reveal prophetic strategies in this hour that's going to catapult the church into a new season. I felt that very strongly this morning. There is a new season for the church to move into. There is an Elijah anointing on the church. I believe in this season, unlike we've ever seen in any previous generation. I believe we're going to begin to hear the Lord's voice clearer and stronger than any time and some time. And so, Lord, just receive it. Just receive it today, church. That still, small voice anointing. Lord, we, we open our ears. We hear what you have to say. Again, the sign, sometimes we're so busy looking for a sign. And he says, I just want to whisper my thoughts, my impressions. 